are rosy and skies are blue once again. Let the cyclone go by by. No more will I cry or cry. I'm tickled clean. The moon is yellow. And like a fellow who's not. Do me a piece and pray never day. And you say, oh, yes, and we'll be married in the month of May. I urge you, my friend, come, drink with me and pray. I speak unto you these feeble bones. I present to your will this frail body. I beg of you. Salvation! It is... It is so good to see you again, dear child. Remember, the Church of the Children of Atom is always here for you. Salvation is attainable. Why, yes, we do. How much would you like to donate? Thank you. Very well. Walk in the glow. Hey, Jenny. Not so fast. Oh, feeling a bit under the weather? Or a bit over the Geiger counter? <laughs> I can tell! You're positively glowing! Now, just hold on and try not to move. Tell me how it feels, and I'll get you fixed right up. You're a lucky one, you know. At this level, most people don't make it. But then again, most people don't have my experimental tricks. Now, after taking a few notes, I'll take care of that nasty radiation with a bit of my own homemade concoction. I've never had the chance to test it out on someone so heavily dosed. Oh, 
but I'm sure it'll work out fine. <laughs> Exciting, isn't it? Okay, a little ramen milk, a couple magnets, and maybe a few happy thoughts. Well, you're alive! Oh, that's the good news. But there was a little side effect. A teeny tiny, um, mutation. Uh, but it seems to be benign, at least. Here, take a few radiation chems. As my little way of saying, I'm sorry I twisted your DNA like a kitten with a ball of yarn. Correct. And it's looking very smart. Very smart indeed. They'll be dazzled by our intelligence. Here, for your services, I've saved up quite a few stim packs. Of course you may need them. We've still got two more chapters to go. The second chapter is going to be a bit trickier, I think. It'll cover how to handle creatures out there, for better or worse. For example, repelling mole rats, uh, learning about mire lurks, and when all else fails, how to handle being injured. So let's buckle down and get to work on this chapter. What's first? Mire lurks are a big threat in some areas, and knowing more about them can help people learn to avoid or even outsmart them. So I picked up this observer device to study them in their natural habitat. I need you to hide one in one of the spawning pods in their lairs. That's great. I recommend the nest at the Anchorage War Memorial. I knew a trader who talked about the mire lurks down there. Just go inside and find one of their spawning pods, probably down near the water. Put this observer inside and get out quietly. And be sure not to kill any mire lurks inside their nest. If you do, it could ruin the validity of the study. Yeah, I'm afraid that's not going to work with me. What do you need? You've got the cap. See ya. Plants the fruitiest. Yes. Stars the shootiest. The grins the funniest. The smiles the sunniest. Way back home. Don't know why I left the home. I really must confess I am a weary exile Singing my song of loneliness The food is the steadiest The wine is the headiest The pals are the readiest The gals are the steadiest The love the liveliest the life the loveliest way back, way back, way back home. No place like home, sweet
serve you. Good morning, sir. Welcome, welcome. My name is Crow, and I travel the land offering vestments of protection. And you are fortunate I found you in time. You bear the look of one who is haunted. But I am proud to say that my wares can protect you from even the cruel claws of death itself. Have a look. My caravan sells clothing and armor to decorate and protect the body while it endures the ravages of the physical world. My travels take me from Canterbury Commons to where there is true need of this protection. After all, this is what they'll pay the most for. If the clothes make the man, then here are the means to remake yourself. Pleasure doing business with you. Walk well, friend. <laughs> 